Okay, gentlemen, 356. Uh, this is, is a C coupe. They're all basically the same. This is the late style door. You notice we kiss cut. We're cutting part of the seat leather here. We're doing the kiss cut to allow for the pleats. We're doing piping. It's hard to cut by hand. And so the hide has been inspected for floors and we've now going to demonstrate. The first step is to chalk line on. So we wet down the leather so that the chalk lines come through and we're going to see these two chalk lines here that helps the sewer get the, the piping in the bottom uh, uh, sorry the top of the door panel so we're ready to go so this is the arc on the door um, pocket itself and that allows the sewers here to we've got the notches what this is, uh, these are line-up marks that allow the sewer to align everything when they're sewing. Uh, it's, a, it's like a chisel point that's um, about a quarter of an inch wide. And I'll show you it here. You can see that it, every time it hits one, it turns green. So those are the cushions. Now it's hitting the, hitting the top of the door panels here. These are line-up marks across the bottom. Then the machine's gonna pause. We're gonna cover it with plastic to keep the vacuum tight, and then we're gonna do the main cutting. So it's done in a couple of stages here. So we'll uh, leave it there, and I'll start another uh, film of the uh, next okay. step. We'll just look here. We're doing. It, you see when uh, when it's completed the cut, it turns bold. So these are what we call kiss cuts, and. Uh, at the Porsche factory they did the same thing, this would have been tool cut. It allows the sewer to fold the leather to make the pleats here. You can see that being done. There, I don't know if you guys can see it, but you can see the lines for the pleats. Finally, the last cut here, we turned the vacuum bed on. This has perforated holes in the bed. It's a giant aluminum plenum, a five horsepower motor, sucks the air out. This will help the leather stay down in position when we cut in, so it doesn't lift. Of course, it's also sucking the leather itself. It helps now when the leather starts to cut, uh, the plastic is needed. So that looks like a passenger side bolster for the cushion. It's cutting the, uh, the door pocket out. Yeah, oh yeah, that's the backrest. So, you know, there's great advantages to this machine. You're not going to find it at your local upholstery shop, that's for sure. This is the piping being cut for the cushion. And we'll look over here, and we see that as it cuts, so there's the first one, cushion bolster, backrest bolster. We cut the one door pocket, now the second one's being cut. Once it's finished, it highlights it to say that it's done. The movement within the file is haphazard. There's a re technical reason for this. Um, it doesn't matter to us because we, uh, we're doing small production runs. It's the other side of the cushion. And on it goes. So I'll stop it there because uh, the rest is just more of the same and then I'll show you what it looks like as we pull it off the cutting machine. Okay, gentlemen, read and weep as they say in Vegas. Here's the final result. Ta-da! Isn't that beautiful? There you go. 356 door pocket, pleated section. So when the, the sewers pleat, they have exactly the right line. All set, ready to go. Let's pull a piece of the pipe in for the seat. There's a piping goes on the uh, or welting as some people call it um, here is the 
bolster for the cushion and again these are the lineup marks that the machine did to allow our sewers to sew these without sewing in tension into the seat cover so it allows it to line up it'll have lines that go on the skirt that cover the outside and they have to line that up so that the piping doesn't get twisted again uh, this is a great advantage for us here at heritage we're very proud of this machine and i won't bore you with the rest of picking her off but i think you guys uh, can see um, what makes this number one